Hello there, this is Marxist, and I'm going to be doing a demo review of a Czech soldier from the ETF2L Pocket Soldier. His name is, goes by Milky. So we'll go ahead and watch this. I guess I should turn off my net graph. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So we'll get started here. Oh, look at that little circle. I like to take my equalizer off about here. Oh, you're a you're a health pack getter. Alright, so we'll see what we do here. I will note for viewer types that uh, any FOV decisions were made by the player and not me, so large view models. Yeah, there's not a lot of traction there for you guys. There uh you were basically never in a position to do anything and you got a lot of heals throughout. Your demo's dead. You can't be here. You've got to go up top. You're just going to die if you stay. Your meds making the right choice. Your scouts can't get involved in a fight down there. I guess they got a kill, so that's not a big deal, but they don't have heals. I would have liked to have seen the other team push on you. They're being kind of slow. They might be scared. So there's your demo. You're good to uh, go here. At least to set up a normal defense. Yeah, the sticky traps there. There's no real reason to get super aggressive here, or to really try to do very much of anything. Because ultimately you have second. So, that puts you in a, in a defensive situation. Uh, hopefully your med doesn't get forced here. Alright, so you got them through. They're sacking a ton of players. Wow. So they dropped their whole team. You did not need to pop Uber there. There was absolutely no reason ever, ever under any circumstances to pop there. Alright, so here's the scout. And your scouts need to not be doing that. They need to get on the point and cap. It's you, the demo, and if your roamer survived. It's their job to push, not the scouts. Shotgunning this guy would probably work. Nah. Alright, yeah, so I've said it before in other demo reviews. As a pocket or a demo, you can't walk to the left there. You either have to rocket jump left or you have to walk up right uh, onto the spy the little mini spire. You can't just walk around down there, or you're gonna get killed. Alright, so you get a kill down there on the flank. I'm not sure about the status of your Uber. But, uh, in any case, you have it. You have all six. So you should be trying to do something. You got it. You got to. Uh, you lost somebody. You need to back up. You lost your flank. So, flank of any mistake, they got baited in and killed. So, and now they're going to get baited in some more, it seems. They, you really ought not to have your flank be doing any pushing if your mid is not there. Also, they should have Ubered in on you because they got a kill. There they go. You're really bunched up here. So you, you might be able to get decent damage. You're already another down. That other player should be back by now. Yeah, you're, it, this is a loss. When you lose a player, you have to back up. And uh, you guys all stayed forward in a big clod, and you know they're going to Uber in on you eventually. <laughs> and that puts your medic in a really bad situation because you can't save everybody. And you can't get enough Uber to drive into them. Had it just been you up there and your whole team leaving, everything would have been okay. Because you could have done decent damage with a full Uber, your med could have pulled back, and then your team would have been okay. Because they would have left, right? They would have left well before then. And uh, your Uber would have been able to do stuff. Then you pull back and your team comes back in. 
that's really the only hope you have for holding that. Your fl uh, your, I don't know why your demo's that forward at all. So that's just a tremendous mistake. You didn't have Uber. There's no hope to do anything, and it's gully wash especially. Normally, I'm not a, I'm not totally opposed to, uh, you know, trying to do something, but on gully wash, there's absolutely no reason to, because so many teams have so much trouble pushing this map. You don't need to, to really do anything. They'll do it for you. <laughs> So you need to jump into them right here. You yeah, and you're getting healed. Your scouts are what need to be healed, not you. <laughs> Cuz you're worthless at mid. And you know, that so it's a, it's a team play issue here. You're getting a lot of heals and doing nothing, and that's it's not that you're a bad player, that's just the nature of soldier at mid. So your, your heals need to be distributed more effectively, mainly on the scouts, on mids. Ah, uh, you got forced. This is gonna be ugly. So there's their force. You did your job. You're trying to fall out. In in that situation, well, it looks like you got out, so it turned out okay. But yeah, it, on mid, you basically are just looking for an opportunity to jump them. And after it became obvious that no one was attacking into you, then you had no reason to be around. You should have just bombed into them. And your scouts are what need to be around your medic. So you guys are doing it kind of backwards. But, I mean, you won, but... That'll only work for so long. And you're gonna wipe again. You're all trapped on the wrong side. Your med's still alive, though. So that's... No, oh, well, for now. Oh, uh, making it out with the Uber saw. You're on the wrong side, though, bud. <laughs> yeah, he tried to live the dream. There's only so much that can be done. It would have been in that situation as medic, it's better to just kill yourself. So that you can respawn, because you're never going to hold second. Yeah, their med, well, their med wasn't that ballsy, so you do a decent force there. They're running in. They might be able to do something, depending on... You're two down, no soldiers? Yeah, they're right to go. Your demo's in a really wonky spot. I mean, I guess guarding Riverside isn't that unusual, but... Your med's down again, so no matter what, they're going to have uber advantage for this. They push in kind of in a disorganized way, so they might have just killed themselves. Nope, their demo goes ahead and cleans it up. Let's go look at another one of these mids. I'll try and walk you through my thought process if you end up doing the same thing you did the last two times. Both your scouts are on the ground, you're gonna lose this mid. Or you should. So you need to jump them, yeah. You're just sitting here taking damage. If your side doesn't get attacked in the first four to five seconds, it's time for you to bomb in. Or start walking forward. That may have been their med. So your roamer goes absolutely bananas huge. I don't know how... Oh, wow. Well, I guess maybe there was a scout with your med there? I don't really know. No. Yeah, you should have just stayed with your med there.
<laughs> so you're walking right this time. That's at least better. Yeah, you didn't see that soldier though. He's gonna get distracted by your med. You get really lucky. <laughs> So you're going to get this round for free because they got an AFK med. Maybe he's good now. Alright, so we'll see another one of these mids. Well, your scouts are up top this time, so you have a fighting chance. You jumped a little more aggressively, so I like that. And uh, you're gonna win this mid. All you need to do now is protect your mid. Alright. So, one scout cap, everybody else go. One scout cap, everybody else go. Alright. And then, ideally, what you do here is just go up top. It, look, well, it looks like your demo had that thought. You're putting yourself in a really dangerous spot right here. But I guess they're just sitting back. So, yeah, you're good to go. I like this play. You don't need to shoot the med at all. Okay. Good, good. Oh, the... Whatever that gun is. The Widowmaker, that's what it is. Oh, unlucky! <laughs> yeah, so that was good. Just push straight in. I like to do it from Riverside myself, just because it... There's less of a chance of a stupid sticky trap or a hiding person killing me. But, yeah, that's fine. You did a good job there. Alright, let's see what we've got here. Oh, no. Well, we have one scout's at least up top. Okay. So you're already one down. You, no, you don't get... Oh, you're trying to go for this soldier. Yeah, that's not particularly useful use of your time. See... Again, no scouts are being healed, so they're just... I don't know what the other team's doing, but they're they're feeding you pretty well. Alright, scouts kept the point. Everybody else move forward. Oh, Matt gets a kill. Well, this guy's dead. Well, that turned out. Yeah, he had no reason to do that. Oh, no air shot for this guy. Kudos to your med for not panicking. There's a health pack there for him, yeah. No, don't, you don't want to drop off your high place. And the scout feeds you a kill, so that's very polite of him. Yeah, they're going on your med. That's fine. Ideally, you guys would have pushed to the top left instead of worrying about Shutter Door. If you have a demo there, you don't even need to look at Shutter Door. You side suicide in your roamer, and you kill their med. I guess that turns out. Uh, you're dropping like your whole team for no reason. I guess you just did an off uber push. I guess that's okay, but it's kind of, unless your roamer did 10,000 damage, it's a pretty weird decision. I assume he did the right thing and said he did 10,000 damage, so we'll see. This is going to be really hard for you to do anything with. I guess they're distracted. What are they doing? Like, they need to get on the point. You could actually defend this now. Your team's going the wrong way because your meds at choke. And they're all down in flank fighting without heals, but... Yeah. You can't, you can't do that. You can't try to push without heals in those situations. <laughs> your team has to favor the side that your medic and pocket got out. So, that's a... Either people just not knowing what they're doing, or a comms problem where you and your med aren't saying where you are. Basically, you should do that about every 10 seconds, when or whenever there's a question as to where you might be. Is you need to tell? Oh, nice shot! You need to tell your team where you and the med are, 
because they should be gravitating towards there. Basically, always. Oh, you ganked the med's health pack. Demo's gonna go down. Yeah, they Uber on you here. That's not a terrible decision. This guy's gonna struggle. Oh, you're getting back capped. The med, I mean, going for the med there isn't a bad choice. Your med's gonna die for sure. Or not. He lags his way to safety. Wow. So, you had 300 health, your demo didn't, and he was the one peeking a choke. <laughs> so, it's things like this that I notice, right? Like, oh, you could, yeah, demo's dead, you win. I don't know why they were so close. Maybe they just didn't realize you had Uber. A little bit of lag there. Your team should be in. Yeah, you win. I, I would go ahead and stack it, but... I'm gonna go ahead and go to two. That's fine as well. You just have to be conscious of the forward spawn. Oh, your demo is spawn camping. It. Oh, and their med comes out. Well, they gave you that round for free. And, yeah, you don't want to do that. <laughs> your roamer's already, like, ten miles deep. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe I'll go heavy. That'd be fun. So you guys should be getting ready to push soon. Ah, you lose somebody. So you're trying to throw away your uber advantage, if possible, it seems. Yeah, there's a sticky trap there. You're not gonna be able to really fight with this. Well, he's deading. So you could have moved on him, but it's, it is pretty risky, so you made the right choice. Okay, let's see what you do. You ought to bring in like two or three people into the Uber because you've got massive advantage. And you're not going. Go. You gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta bring you and like the demo and a bunch of other people. Bring the whole team. Okay, so here's an Uber. It's one sticky. You're gonna have to pop anyways. No, they actually got Uber. Okay, well... Med needs to leave. He's gonna get chased. Yeah, that's a wipe. Or an impending wipe. The ultra laggy medic. Probably another one of those wireless users. He's making his way. He's lagging his way to choke. Or big door, rather. So you need to go big door on this unless your med's dead. Oh, he ran all the way out. <laughs> Or you were facing the wrong way. I can't tell because I have the uber glitch. And it makes uh, my red and blue signs look a little wonky. Or at least not what I'm used to seeing. So their med survived all of that, I imagine. And they've brought a Tomislav Heavy, which is legal, I hear now, in Europe. So you guys are going crazy over there. But you had no real hope of holding that anyways because of how poorly organized your defense was. You're gonna bomb a roamer here? I don't really understand why. I mean, yes, they likely didn't... Uh, you're gonna force them on mid. That's not necessarily bad. And it's a demo uber, which is terrible. And, uh... Your med's gonna lag and die. Oh, come on. You can get this guy. There you go. Oh, you're getting a bit of the... The med's lag rubbed off on you. And, uh... So there are several down... You gotta try and support your demo here, so that's the right choice. You don't have heals, though. Oh, no! He walked into the rocket. Yeah, your whole team's dead now. It's just you. Don't, oh, I hope your med doesn't come out here. No, you, oh, you've brought your own heavy. It's disintegrating. There's no way you can hold two, ever. There's, there is no scenario under which you hold two. Well, their demo's nice and aggressive. There he is. There's the soldier doing what he should do when you're trying to cap second. 
Yeah, see, that's just not pot. That's what you need to do when your team pushes second. They should just Uber in on you. They should have it already. But they're going to let you get Uber. Now, in my Gully Wash video, I have a guide for it if you're interested. I talk about how I like to hold when I have Uber. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, forcing early on a defense isn't bad. Your demo walks right into a heavy and dies. So, there's that. When, when they Uber on you and you popped your Uber, you need to retreat to a central point. I like that you're the one blocking the point. You did what you were supposed to there. But your team needs to be willing to retreat somewhat. Or your med needs to come save someone as important as the demo. Alright, let's look at another mid. Taking early damage from their demo. Yeah, you have a scout on the ground that ought to be keeping their demo from doing that to you. You've already got a kill. So you need to jump. There's nothing going on right now. You need to jump. Oh, you get a you get a garbage frag. Oh, you finally jump. Okay, so that's good. Your roamer is still in. This guy could die. Yeah, your roamer gets him. Or demo, rather. Oh, this med's dead for sure. He kills himself. And you lose uh, something else. Now, you gotta go back and cat mid, though. That, this is an alright play. This is fine. But, uh, to go get their med. But, yeah, see, you need to be up going up there with your med. Your demo can put a million stickies down on that door and they'll never come in. Or out, rather. But you, there we go. This is the real thing. Oh. That guy's useless, you don't need to chase him. Oh, there's a gun, though. The med was also useless. Didn't really need to do that. But, uh, looks like you'll get it. So, tie game. Alright, let's watch another mid. Now you got scouts down on the ground. I guess he's sighting for you. Alright, see, they're, they're not here. You need to jump. Oh, you get you get lucky there. Yeah, just giving them the point. It's like, what what is your strat on mid to just, like, give them the point? <laughs> so, yeah, in the future, you gotta be way more aggressive as this. And your med can't stand around healing you. Oh, and you give up an uber saw. That med really wants that kill. They should have had Uber. Okay, your demo needs to bail out of this. No. The demo can't be in this Uber. He's going to be on you. Yeah, see? <laughs> if they have a team come through choke now, you're all dead. Are they going to do it? No, they totally cocked it up. Where was their team? Their whole team was in flank, apparently. So, they just screwed that up. And in that moment, when you were turned around looking at that soldier, had their demo and, like, a scout come through, you would have all died. <laughs> and that's exactly how you're supposed to push. Especially his pocket, too. Like, that pocket did everything right. And your demo cocked it up for you and uh, made your med flash a bunch and gave them a better uber than you even though they ubered first. And then he got behind you, you all turned around and you all should have died. But uh, their team, frustratingly for, for someone watching, uh, just did something totally silly. Uh, the so you're running the Kritzkrieg. That's pretty interesting. And you've got Second, the the Kritzkrieg risk here is that you 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 either have to kill them at mid or you're gonna be holding last with crits, and that's a, a challenge. But it's worth the it's a uh, interesting risk.
Alright, it's you need to move at seventy five percent. With crits you need to get ready to crits at seventy five percent. Because here you're you're too slow and they should have Uber by the time you're gonna be in any position to use it. Oh, yeah, you get in and kill their med with a scout somehow. I don't really... Their defensive mid must be especially poor. But, uh... Oh, their med was timed out. <laughs> that makes more sense. Jeez, you would have had the prime pickings for a crits there. The med that can't move. <laughs> And you're getting back capped. You're all going back for it, which is not something I approve of. The way you deal with the back cap is you need to have a scout. Just like you kind of, a lot of teams have an arrangement about which scout caps the point and which one does not. Uh, you need to do the same thing for back capping. That uh, only one scout goes back. Unless you know it's more than one person and then you don't need to do that. This demo's killed himself, maybe. No, no one was with you. Are you still crits? Yeah, you're still crits. That's fine. Because they're, they're med logged back in, but he had to respawn, so it's not a huge deal. Again, you gotta start moving with the crits at 75. Or they're gonna have Uber by the time you really mean to do anything. Oh, we're going with the soldier crits. There's a soldier there, he's not dead. Alright. And they should have Uber. Oh, wow, their demo kills himself. <laughs> And there's finally, so, you can see it illustrated here, I'm just gonna make a point out of it. That's fine on your end, I would, I would have critsed you first and then switched to the demo. But you did fine there. That illustrates the point that if someone critses on you, you have to jump them. You can't just stand there and like, try and walk away, cause spamming crits stuff at you is pretty easy. So... You have to jump into them and be really aggressive in response to the crits, not run away. They did get your med. And I guess their med is now playing Scout. <laughs> Alright, they popped. You're way too close. If they had adequate pushes... Okay, so that's your med going down. You're gonna get their med, maybe. Yeah, you guys are just way too close when they had Uber, and you should have known they had advantage. Unless the player switch messed you up. You can't play that close. I Again, I've got sort of my defensive theory set up in my, uh, my Gully Wash guide videos. So... That's there for you if you need it. I don't want to go over uh, how to do specific holds in this in this uh, venue. <laughs> do you need to have a heavy? That would be for your benefit. I think their med survived mid. So you've got a sniper. I guess that's okay. As long as he's not sniper for very long. I hear spinning, so that's good doing some of the cheat building and you get a whatever Mr. Fruit is and you got a roamer that died so that's fine a little bit of the counter suicide now in your case here when you have uber on this last you need to push up to shutter it's just your natural position and then you have your roamer stand on that patio right to your right I call it the launch pad because everybody likes to jump from there, and you just have both soldiers spam into lobby from shutter door and that door over to the right of it. And it's really hard for them to even stand in lobby. Oh, they crits. Oh, nice sticky trap. So, that's another primary lesson of crits, is you, uh, you need to probably check out what's happening before you try to crits through a door. Somebody timed out. I'm not sure if it's one of yours or one of theirs. They're three down. And you're already on. Oh, there's a scout. He goes for the wrong guy. Oh, 
He got unlucky. That rocket on my screen flew right through him. Your team's not fast enough to second. Yeah, you can't... If if your whole team isn't pushing out, there's no point in uh, trying to go out. Oh, I see. It was GG, so... Yeah, no biggie there, so that was just like a thing. I see now why they, uh, why they crits the way they did, because they only had like 10 seconds. Okay, so... Things that I saw need to be worked on. Uh, a lot of it comes down to experience, like uh, your second pushes that got botched. There, when you enter an area as pocket, you need to have definite intentions about what it is you're going to do there, and then you use your mobility through rocket jumping to get there faster than in, than most people can. So. Like when you push second, you need to jump left or walk right or jump on top of Spire. You need to do one of those two things to deny the upper area from them. Because as long as you have a demo or both soldiers, they can't come in shutter. So it's a non it's a non starter. There will never be a day where someone comes out of shutter, manages to to get out and then kill somebody. It's just not gonna happen if there's more than one projectile class on second. The, uh, you know, the other thing is there were a lot of times where you guys got caught sleeping up at Choke with, uh, with no Uber and they had full Uber and your whole team wiped. You cannot let that happen. When you don't, when you know you don't have Uber advantage, you have to stand way far away from it, spam, set your soldier, demo, and roamer in a position where they can spam the door and get them to pop through spam or sack your roamer into them. Uh, and run away and leave forever, never to return. Uh, unless a lucky sticky trap kills a bunch of people or something. Otherwise, you're done. And, uh, yeah, that, and then on mids, you need, on Gully Wash in particular, scouts on the ground are wasting everyone's time, uh, including their own. Peeking through under is okay, but it's not like, there's any great mystery as to where they're going. So it's not really a useful tactic. It's better to have both scouts go on top of the on top of the point every time. One goes right, one goes left, basically, unless the whole team goes right. Then I like to just have them favor the point because it creates a nice little bubble. And uh, for your med to get up when he walks up the right side ramp. Yeah, scouts on the ground are a waste of time, and uh, your med cannot be healing you. Your med needs to heal the demo and two scouts. You should basically never get healed at mid. Uh, the way, the way, so I tried to walk you through it, like jump now, jump now. Basically, you're going to get up to mid on gully wash, and you're going to wait about four or five seconds. And if nothing happens, then you jump. And, uh... Basically, your whole team should begin moving forward at that point. So that's how I like to do it. It seems to be pretty effective to me. The reason that I like your scout to go to the top right is if your roamer bombs them and their scouts are at all competent, your roamer will die instantly and do no damage if there are scouts there waiting for him that are not pressured by a scout. So, and maybe at your, your division of play, that's not a factor yet. But eventually you're going to run into a scout that understands that a jumping soldier can be instantly destroyed by him. And uh, if your roamer jumps and the scouts aren't distracted by another scout, your roamer's going to have like the worst, <laughs> worst game of his life and will have zero fun. So you've got to have somebody apply pressure to them to give your roamer some, some ways in. Uh, I've got a bunch of scout videos on that if you're if you're curious. But yeah, so that's mainly what I saw there. Uh, but on the whole, you got you got the tools right. Your aim's not bad from what I saw, and uh, and your Uber management was okay. And I don't think anything that happened during your guys' Uber was like specifically your fault. And I'm particularly I particularly like your. The way you deal with lasts, like you're really good about getting on the point on lasts, so 
That's a great trait for a pocket to have because it's specifically your job. <laughs> so it's good to have that because a lot of pocket players that I see don't like to do that. So kudos for that. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the review. Feel free to submit more or uh, ask any questions you may have in the comments and I'll, I'll get with you straight away.